All right, so let's get into this beauty basket. If you haven't already seen my video where I film all of the stuff that I put into the beauty basket for the month, I'm gonna go ahead and have that linked up here for you um, because I'm not gonna go through and show you everything that's in the basket again, but I do kind of wanna use some of these products. I have kind of a fun day planned or a fun evening planned with my friends, and I will be taking a lot of the stuff that you've already seen in that video for the declutter. And last night I was like, there was like this Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette I'll have here on the screen. But um, I decided, you know what, I don't want that anymore either. So I went ahead and I put that in that declutter box. And then I sanitized everything last night while watching TV. And I just thought to myself, I'm meeting up with them. And there's going to be like four girls other than myself there. I'm like, I'm meeting up with them. I might as well like see if there's anything in here that I try to date I don't like and I can just go ahead and add to it. So I'm sitting here with my uh, Soda Stream Red Bull, <laughs> which probably obviously is not the healthiest. It's the sugar free Red Bull, but um, and it's like generic Red Bull. So uh, I got my daughter a Soda Stream for Christmas and I saw that they actually had like energy drink and it tastes just like Red Bull. Okay. So I do kind of want to do like a dewier complexion. I don't know if you can see, but my nose is so dry that it's like flaking and patchy. And maybe I should put a little something on that right now um, to where it's like not awful. Let me see what I have here. Maybe I'll use this Polish Choice. It's Lip and Body Treatment Balm. So I'll put some on my lips and then also a little bit on my nose. I mean, it's still kind of like patchy and rough there. I don't know what I'm going to do, but let's just go ahead and jump into it. So I have some of these that I pulled up and I don't even know if any of the shades are going to be good for me right now because I am getting quite a bit lighter. I find that the Chanel one that says light isn't that light. Um, you know what? Let's try to go in with the rose ink one and see how that looks. Since this is relatively sheer, I'm not too worried about the color being a little bit off, but here it is. I think that'll be okay. Actually, I think that one's a pretty decent match for me right now. It does lean a little bit pink. Um, yeah, but I think once I get it rubbed in, it'll be fine. So yeah, you can definitely see that it has gone a little bit pink on my face and it looks a little bit off. So we're definitely going to have to like correct that a little bit with some concealers and maybe bronzer and things or even maybe even like the Jones Road uh, balm. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this, which is um, Skin Food Salmon Dark Circle Corrector. And I'm going to go ahead and just put that in my eyes to get rid of that blue. And I'll go in with a little bit of this Lancome concealer. It's a little bit dark for me, so I'm gonna mix it with the lighter shade as well before I actually blend it in. And I'm just gonna kinda of go over some of these dots I have on my face, but I'll probably still have to like use the Laura Mercier Spot Concealer later. And I don't wanna to be too made up today. I am just gonna be going around. I have to drop off some packages um, at the post office. And then I need to get stuff to make a charcuterie board for this evening. So that's kind of like what I've got going on today. <laughs> All right, so I have these and they were released in the fall from Chanel and it is their Water Fresh Blush. So when I originally got them, the first shade I got here was warm pink, which was a lighter shade. And then because my skin had a little bit of a tan to it, I found it to be super light. And so I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get this intense coral, but I'm actually going to go in with this lighter shade here just because my skin is a little bit more pale right now. So here it is. I'm going to do the same thing and kind of work it into my little fingertips here. And Kind of work it into the skin like to start and then I need to get a brush here and the pump had like some stuff stuck in it so that's awesome oh but I think that's really pretty I think it's adding a lot of that life back to my skin 
that was taken out with like the rose ink. And I need to just do one pump. I did two pumps. I don't know why I did two pumps, but I feel like I have all this excess now. But I feel like I should have actually, instead of like wiping it off, let me see if there's any left on this brush, like kind of take it around the perimeter of my face and over my nose. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. In the winter, I don't like to use a ton of bronzer unless it's just barely there because it just looks so stark on my complexion. But I think this looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go over it with a powder blush. This is the Clinique in Nude Pop. And the cool thing, if you're a pale lady like myself, these sort of like barely there blushes look so good on pale skin just because it just brings a little bit of life without being super obvious. And we're gonna use something that I'm debating on getting rid of. So this is from Bobbi Brown and it is a highlighting brick trio. And it has three shades in it. And I feel like they're all a possibly a little bit dark. I'll kind of swatch them here. Um, the only one I've used a whole lot is the pink one as a topper. And I don't know, this one goes a little bronze, this one goes a little bit gold, and then you've got pink. So I'm just not sure if I wanna keep this around. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Do I, no, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna swirl them all together with this and just kinda see and just brush it over the cheek and see if I like that. And I do, but I also need to ask myself, do I wanna keep this really large thing around and just swirl them all together all the time? Like, I'm gonna go into just the pink right now and then just brush that over. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with a little bit more. Or maybe I'll decide before this evening, I don't know. I do wanna spray my face a little bit. So here's the thing with those. I don't have a ton of texture on my skin, but I feel like it is picking up texture and making my skin look more textured than it is. Maybe I should just go ahead, I think I am going to. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it on to my friends they're all younger than me. At least the group that I'm hanging out with tonight. So this would probably fare a lot better on them. I'll try to tap this in. I mean, it looks nice, but yeah, you can definitely see that texture. All right, I put these little Rowan quads in here because I was not getting a ton of use out of them. And maybe I just chose the wrong tones. Um, maybe these shadows just aren't for me. So this one I find looks a little bit more flattering for me. I think it's like these tones that go a little bit more pink that I kind of struggle with. So I'll probably end up keeping this one. But since this one's kind of on my chopping block now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these on. So I'm gonna go into this sort of super light kind of creamy shade right here and tap it on kind of the inner portion and bring it onto the lid. Okay, not hating that. And then I wanna go into this one right here and I just think maybe that's it, there's too much shine and glitter in these. I don't know why I don't gravitate towards them. So I'm gonna then put that on the center and kind of work it out. And just looking, I think it looks a little bit too, it just leans a little bit too pink for me. It kind of goes with my sweater today though, but. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And here's the thing, my the friends that I'm hanging out with tonight, I mean, they like makeup. They're always excited when I give them makeup. But like, I'm sure they've never heard of Rowan before. <laughs> and, and what I have found with like everyday people who are not in the whole YouTube space, when they look and they find how much money 
I've spent on products, especially like when I give them something, um, there'll be something and I'll give it to them. And they're like, oh my gosh, I like this so much. And then they, they'll actually like run out of it and they'll go to repurchase it. And then they will message me and they'll be like, I am not spending 40, $50 on that. <laughs> um, and it's just kind of eye opening because like, okay, why am I spending 40, $50 on that? Like, I know why, like I love makeup, but I mean, I clearly need to like, be a little bit more careful about what I'm spending my money on. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one now, and it's kind of like a, it's like a beige, and then it looks to have either silver or green sparkle in it and purple sparkle. Like it's hard to tell if it's green or silver. I don't know. If, either way, let's tap it on. Okay, this is pretty, but I need to have a deep conversation every day autumn and ask her, are you going to wear a glossy glittery lid on the daily? Is this a look that you are going to reach for time and time again, or would maybe somebody else get better use from it? I will say though, that after tapping this shade on, it has kind of dulled the pinkness of the shadow and this now looks a lot more wearable for me. So that's kind of interesting. I do want to go in though with this sort of like deeper kind of like bronze shade in here and it's like a reddened bronze within like, like yellow gold shift to it. And honestly, let me swatch it first, because I feel like I'm going to try to put it along the lash line, but I like what I have going on here. And I feel like if I add that, that I'm just going to ruin my look. So I'm going to go in with this Wayne Goss. No, is this Wayne Goss? No, this is Refer. And I'm going to go in with this brush and kind of work it towards the lash line. Okay, so I don't hate it, but this doesn't blend very well, or since it's kind of chunky, it doesn't want to live along the lash line in a nice, like, smooth, like, even manner either. So I kind of had to, like, place it and then blend it. So I've had a lot of highs and lows <laughs> while using this. So I could take or leave this shade. It doesn't really do a whole lot. This goes too pink, but then once I add it, add this to it, then all of a sudden, it's wearable for me, it kind of cancels it out. I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna open the other Rowan quad, actually. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the, the shade right here, no. This shade along the lower lash line, just with my pinky. So I'll get a little bit on there. Okay, so I have decided. I am going to pass this along. And I'm going to keep this one because these tones, I think, are better suited for me. All right, so let's go in and try to do my brows. They're a mess. I have this little tiny Kosas thing that I just wanna use up. So I'm gonna go in and comb everything up with that and then try to go in and fill in after. I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Pie this is the Super Brow Precision Pencil and kind of try to fill in a little bit and then I'll probably go in with like a powder also, maybe a pen, I don't know. I just kind of play around until my brows look somewhat decent. All right, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot with the brows, like this is plenty, but I did kind of want to show you guys a mascara I found and when I do my monthly budget video, this will be included. I did spend $11 on this out of my budget, but this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. It's their new mascara. And when I saw this, I knew that I had to try it. So a long time ago, like say 2007, <laughs> I had a mascara I was obsessed with. It was the only mascara I would buy. Um, and it was called the Maybelline Lash Stylist, I believe. 
and um, it had a comb kind of brush. And I believe L'Oreal and Maybelline are under the same umbrella. I'm hoping this is similar, but they discontinued that mascara probably 2008-2009. And then I've been on the hunt for the perfect mascara since. Um, so I always like that mascara because I already do have a lot of lashes and it just allowed me to comb a lot of product into my lashes and it didn't clump. So I'm first going to curl my lashes if I can find a curler. And then we're going to open this up. I am so excited. So it says length, lift, and volume, uh, load and lift brush. Um, I'm so excited. Like this, this brush is, looks exactly like what the Lash Stylish brush, brush was. So, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it, it's a little bit more flat now that I'm looking at it to where that one just kind of like came up and had the bristles, but this is still very promising. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna zoom you in. Now you can see like how dry my nose is. That's disgusting. And let's go ahead and put some of this on my lashes. Okay, so I'm loving this. This is one thin coat and it literally got every lash it's not clumped. Um, and so I think if I wanted like something subtle, I could go for this, but I'm gonna put some on the other side and then we're gonna go in and do a second coat over here. All right, let's go in for a second coat. Okay, so this is two coats. I'm gonna do the other, well I can kind of show you here, two coats versus one coat. And I normally stop at just two coats of mascara, but I do wanna kind of point out the best way that I find to apply this if you're trying to get product on your lashes. And I'm gonna kind of zoom in on the brush here. So if you apply it like this, this flat part against the lash, that kind of puts the product on the lash itself. And then if you flip it to the side, you'll notice that the teeth are a little bit longer and they have like those little hooks on them. And then so you drag that through and it unclumps it and it separates everything. So I'm not gonna do a third coat, <laughs> but I, yeah, I'm not doing any more. I think this can get you into Tammy Faye Baker territories pretty quickly. Um, but I do really like this, so I'm excited. I don't know if it's as wonderful as what I have in my mind as the other mascara that I used to use is. I don't know if it's that great, but um, for a first impression, this is pretty good. All right, so I wasn't going to do a bronzer, but I feel like I need to use something to make my skin seem a little less pink. I feel like at least in the mirror, in the monitor it doesn't look so bad, but I think in the mirror I'm pulling a little pink. So I want to look at some of the bronzers that I have put in the basket. Um, you know what, I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. I think it's discontinued, but I like it because it's super sheer. And I think that's just what I need to kind of warm up a little bit, but not look too crazy. So I'm gonna get this Big Marc Jacobs bronze brush and then work it on the back of my hand. Let's just kind of go around. Yeah, that's perfect. 
not a ton but i think it brought it to where it needed to be and i don't think i have any lip products in this beauty basket but i did recently get a bunch of lip products in that i had ordered um i think from yes style or style vana i forget which one but i want to try some of them i haven't even tried them yet i got these um mood lips from peri para and i'll show you what else i got which i ordered this stuff around halloween and it just showed up about a week and a half two weeks ago um and then i got these from romand and um i did try this recently in a video but i got these milk tea things i have rose tea and earl gray tea Oh, great tea might actually go with my shirt. Ooh, and I got another one of these from Peri Pira. Uh, this is in Fall and Acorn. Oh, they're all Fall and Acorns. So what's the actual names? They have numbers. I got 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> I don't know. You know what, though? I think I want to go in with the Earl Grey tea that looks similar to my shirt. I think that would look nice, but I wanna line my lips first. And in my everyday makeup bag, I have this lip liner that I have been loving. I'll have my everyday makeup bag linked up here if you wanna see what's in it. But I'm obsessed with this lip liner. It's only $5, it's from NYX, and it's the shade Nude Beige. It's perfect, it goes with everything. So I am gonna hurry up and line my lips. I don't know why I said hurry up, but I'm not in a rush. <laughs> okay, and then let's put some of this on. I get so excited, see how it's like new, it hasn't even been used yet. Like you can see like, now it has. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's deep. I really like this, but I think, and I don't know if you guys do this, when you put on a lip product and then you start looking at your face and you're like, I feel like now like the eye needs to be balanced a little bit more. And I'm not a liner person, but I feel like I need a little bit of a liner to kind of, especially if the lip is a little bit more bold, I almost feel like I need a wing. And I don't want like a liquid line wing that's gonna be really harsh. I love these Revlon Micro uh, eyeliners for wings, and this is the brown one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll zoom you in for this. Okay. And I just put a slight wing on the outside. And that's it. I feel like that just balances out the look so much more. And I don't know, are you zoomed in enough to see that these Rowan eyeshadows are creasing? And which I think the whole brand, they don't really care a whole lot about that. It's kind of like that messy look. But um, that kind of just cements for me um, my decision to kind of get rid of that one. I am going to play around with the other, but it might end up going too if I find it to be too creasy and I have other shades that kind of do the same thing. I feel like I need to put more lip liner on with this lip though. I'm at the tinkering stage now. If you're bored, you've seen all the exciting stuff that's gonna happen. Okay, we're all done here. I'm gonna spray my face with the same thing I sprayed before my skincare. This is just the Black Bamboo Mist. And we're all done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And you know what, I will go ahead I guess kind of reiterate, you were here with me, but I'm able to get rid of two more things from my basket. So I'll be cleaning those up and popping them in. And that's kind of exciting. I'm, I'm trying to like cut back this year in my purchasing and also like 
get rid of stuff I'm not using so people can still use it before it goes bad because I'm obviously not going to be able to use up all my makeup. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.